this right. Lunte, hopefully. We'll see in a second, folks. Uh, oh. Yep. Betting? Let's, I didn't finish the betting. Let's see that button. I forgot to bet. I was so, I was so like concerned for throw ink of like thinking of what they've got to do for this game. Oh, I forgot to bet, folks. Folks, if you're All joining right. us from uh, the um, Blizzard splash screen, um, don't forget to tune in tomorrow, Sunday, as the will be more playoff fun. For sure. Tomorrow we have uh, the losers' finals, uh, finals, the winners' finals, and of course, eventually the grand finals themselves. Um, so, like, obviously, if you enjoyed our games today, expect even better games tomorrow, up uh, all the way to the grand finals. Uh, also, if you get tired of my ass casting, we're gonna have new casters tomorrow as well. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's see how's the game is going. Everything seems Cast to be back. in order. So, yeah. Who's on the right side? Is it Lord of the Pings? Yes. They're getting That's they're getting the first pick. Uh throwing decided to go with the band uh, with the map pick, so Lord of the Pings get the uh, the first pick of the hero and naturally this, so yeah. Tass out or ban here, interesting. Oh okay, I see why they've done it. Because with Tass you kinda of, maybe they didn't want to risk maybe they didn't feel comfortable playing with other Carries than Valor, so they didn't want throwing yeah, to go ben. Tass Valor or Tass Carry saying. pick. Maybe, I don't know. Dahakaban, I like it. He's very strong on large maps. He's a global presence. Um, he's definitely gone up in people's pick priorities. That's been reflected in the HDC. You see him quite often. Um, if they're going to go global. Lord of the Pings may want to pick up a Falastad. Um... Ah, they're really taking their time here, apparently, choosing their first. Opa! Oh, somebody's dropped. Ooh. Uh, same player, I think. There we go. Whoops, whoops. 3 to 3. <laughs> 3 to 3. This is Gabe, like. Uh... The same guy, okay. <laughs> this All is right. like Lord of, Lord of Pings, like, you know, secret strategy of, like, just. Yeah. Uh... Disrupting the opponent's mind with their drop. I'm only joking, thanks. I'm pretty sure that it's just uh, get a problem by the new router. Gosh, yeah. There's nothing worse than a router that like gives you trouble. Well, the thing I like about um, Heroes Lounge is a lot of the teams seem really friendly. They they probably scrim against each other as well, so they, they seem to always be good humour. Even in like the last series, we saw like a little bit of joking side come out. So if you haven't considered like playing amateur hots um, because you've been worried about the intimidating environments maybe by ESL or some of the other the leagues I think you probably find some, a great sort of community to come and sort of start off your amateur careers and start a new team and have some fun so definitely and as, yeah. as we say season three is it just around the corner let's see still not online What's funny? Oh, Twitch chat was like, uh, sort of, Pro Inc is hacking Lord of the Pings to win. <laughs> it's, <funny. laughs> it's like Twitch chat. I, lo I love Twitch chat's humor. Don't Let chew it. your food, just swallow, please. Yeah, mute, please. So. Don't chew your food? What the hell? It's a cookie! I can't swallow a cookie, man. Come on, Twitch chat. Cookies are allowed. He's been casting hard. Today. Twitch chat wants me I to kill myself. I mean, like, maybe maybe you just need one of those, like, Caldor-esque uh, power shakes. Win over this is, chat. They love those. This is now a food stream, guys. I mean, come on, extra value here. Social Maybe eating. Watch... Social eating while, while you wait. What could be better than that? <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, I've, like, Googled the lore and Cursed Hollow, but this isn't really interesting, so I'm going to drop my uh, Kolaris star hat. Um... Describe <laughs> So, okay. I will change. Social eating, Gabriel, guys. Eating guys. Everyone was landed in, so hopefully we'll be able to resume that draft. I'm gonna guess a Tassadar first man, followed by a hacker man. And uh, be interesting to see where they go from there. Nope, dropped again. Are you kidding me? Oh, is that 
the Tetcher in the house. Welcome. Uh, a big Heroes Lounge welcome to some name like famous people from our eating is banned music. while casting what dance game what where's my pizza let's break some rules here gosh this, this is uh, deteriorating quite quickly folks uh, but hopefully we'll get back in the draft already oh hopefully. no he's lagging he now are you kidding me? Lag. Ready? Yes. Well, well, how do you lag on the uh, lobby screen? That's that's impressive. That's uh. That All takes, right. Takes um, doing. Throwing oh. ready? Yes, they are ready. Let's start this. Has the um, betting phase um stopped, or is there still time to bet on your favorite team? I'm gonna redo the betting then, obviously. Um, yeah. Naturally, so start refund and this, and let's start this, and let's go. Voila, metric. Taspan. So, um, uh, we got a question from Twitch chat. What is the stream? Is there going to be like pro games? If there is, when will it start? Tetra are here to support so throwing. What? Rigged. What the hell, man? We see this is biased. What the hell? You can't be biased. What the hell? Throwing I, I like is sponsored like by that. teacher, by teacher, like teacher. I like teacher. It's good. And it's nice to like sort of, um, you know, they're game down. They need all the support they can get. Twitch chat, raise your dongers, get your support behind them. Etc. Mouth, really strong opening two uh, two picks there. Varian though, are we going to see a pick off catch them in rotation style? So, what would complement that? You want somebody to take us? I love it. For the Good. damage follow up to the uh, to the variant. Um, yeah, pretty variant solid. We've seen it. We've seen it to great good. success. I think it was. I think it was again Lord of the Pings that showed variant Tychus uh, combo with the charge taunt, and it was just enough time for Tychus to annihilate the target. Uh, and our oh, tennis. Tons. Ooh. So I mean, th this is what I like is variant or tennis complement each other very well. They're both very sustained. Esque or can be very sustained esque uh, frontliners. They can, uh, their synergy between their like lockdowns can work. So Atonis can like throw them deeper into the team. So once he's, you know, capitalizing out of position people. Yeah, variant. you can definitely gut swap into charge taunt. Not a very difficult combo to, yeah. to do. And I mean, mm -hmm. getting a, a player out of position and then you lock him down as well. And they're both like, no. Both have reasonable like solo lanes, so it keeps the options open for if they want to like put Artanis solo lane or put him in rotation. Artanis I mean, probably, yeah, Varian probably Varian not, but room. yeah, Varian's gonna, yeah, he's gonna roam almost for sure room. together with he's the Tychus if they're gonna roam, yeah. yeah, if they're gonna roam, absolutely. Um, okay, so we do have the Rhaegar here's the ban here for throwing, already denying a pretty strong support, especially with Tychus and Artanis. Um, uh, Medivh. interesting. I mean, I can. Un I think you know, Medivh gets a lot of value because if you throw down that uh, protection on the hero that's Varian engages on, it can negate a lot of the scary stuff about Varian and give you time to like peel for them. But uh, that won't be an option for uh, for Ink, so they're going to have to really think about what they want to either bring the draft so they're dictating the game or counter what. Lord of the Pings is really thrown out. Nova uh, Gazlo. Please. Murky <laughs> uh, Nova Gazlo. Dana and um, Zeratul, I think, would be really nice pickups. They could, definitely, for sure. We're going to see some mobile combos here done by them. But one thing is for sure, they do need some follow up for the ETC. And I think that this is the time uh, right now to get those picks down. You want to lock it in. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, the reason why. I mean. ETC is probably going to go stage dive, but... Foul start. Okay, there we go. I was, just, well, I was just about to say foul start is still open, and they need a global. I mean, glo they don't need to, but it can play obviously so... very good on Curse Hollow, and there we go. Tyrael, I hope it works for them. I mean, I've already seen... Who was that that went for Tyrael uh, ETC? And we've seen some amazing mosh pit certification, wombo combo. Yeah. It was versus Donor Fedora. Who, who was, it was that? going in the rhythm. 
Yeah, gaming and everything versus Donna and Fedora. They had yeah. some fantastic mosh pit uh, certification bomb combos, completely destroying Donna Fedora's there. Uh, so we I can really see the same thing here. I really like the Tyrrell pickup. It means that Varied becomes a little less scary later on because you just throw down that sank and you then you have to go in hard. So you have to commit to team fights. But then again with Falastad and his gust, it means you can just disengage as well. So. Yep. So, and double peek here for Lord of the Pings. They need to secure their support here. I'm not quite sure who I'd go with. Oriel seems like a decent one, and Ali Ming as their backline. They're good choices. I'm not sure I like the Oriel. Purely because I think... No cleanse might be a problem, but... Cleanse not a problem. it's a problem, and they could pick up a Chromie here. Not like, I mean, I know it sounds a bit silly for a mage pickup, but uh, that you can really punish that lack of cleanse with a Chromie. And some juicy targets. I'm worried about Oriel keeping her energy up. And the hat, I guess, could go on Tychus, maybe a Tarnus. I don't know. I just, if I'm going to take up an Oriel, I'd have liked to see a Goldan instead of Li Ming. That's just me personally. Li Ming, though, with Varian, is scary because it means you can. Yeah, for sure. So much harder to miss your skill shots when the target's like rooted and effectively rooted or taunted in position for so long. You know, yeah, it's... for sure, for sure. They have a lot of kill potential, definitely on the side of Lord of the Pings, and as we've seen time and time again, the the way they execute their kill targets and collapse is fantastic, it's completely on point. So getting an Eliming in there as their fifth pick is something so, something throwing need to be really scared about because they can get an instant kill very quickly and this is exactly what Liming wants to snowball uh, any team fight uh, uh, in her favor. Just right. get this one pick resets and there we go. And we do have, have here the Greyman as the last pick here for throwing. Works well with the Tyrael with the certification. Gonna have to see if they can actually get any value out of him though. I mean... The Sanctifications, the ETC, Tyrael, Greymane have just got to be so on point because it's so easy for Lord of the Pings to punish them. I mean, Varian, Torn can shut down even the best laid plans. Li Ming, who's probably going to go Wave of Force, is g can, yeah, again, like, really mess up with the positioning. So let's see if Fru Inc. has what it takes to. Alright, and on the left side of the map here, in blue, we have Throwing with like Koiti or whatever you pronounce your name. Sorry about that. Um, Lakoit on Greyman, Schleppel on Tyrael, Alaname on ETC, Draconi mm -hmm. on Malfurion, and Rhianor on Falstad. And on the red side, we have Lord of Pings, Urche on uh, Tychus, wearing the crown. We have Elta on Oriel. We have Gabriel autonising it up, Eel on Li Ming, and CD, CY, DT on Varian. We have a Prog Rock from ETC. It's interesting. I don't know if, like, Lock would be useful. I don't know. It's, like, hard to say against Tychus. So obviously, it's... It's I think it's completely stupid. fine to go with the block versus the Tychus because one thing you're not to say you're gonna always block the Tychus and number two it's gonna do a lot of work versus Odin by the way a quick skirmish here in the middle oh. and Tartanus instantly taken down there throwing with a very strong opening here I mean like I say if you Uriel without the energy bar it's kind of like just sits there twiddling her ribbons and it's like oh oh Look at, the, look at uh, the roosters, I like that, they're yeah. setting up for a little bit of a trap. Yeah, but Oreo Lord of the Ping were safe with the rotation. Yep. No Tyke chance for a gank. Chased. And Tyrio is being quite aggressive, pushing up the lane, I like it. Really strong opening uh, by Fro Inc. Coming out of the gate swinging, which is what I like to see. Yeah, for sure. So they are trying to make some kind of a rotation, it looks like, on the side of Lord of the Pings. Oh, you gotta tell me what's funny. Oh, what what just, did you like, read? like sitting in that bush so long, and then like, uh, I think it was a Tychus grenade, just like, lobs it in the bush, and they're all there, and they're like, you, you just imagine the players going, oh, well, that didn't turn out. <laughs> like, it's that disappointed face in the character. <laughs> like, that amused me. It's like, really well played by Lord of the Pings to uh, know that something's up. Like, where where is free people? It's like... Ooh, nice swap there on their tennis. Doing a little bit of work here on the Tyrael, pushing him backwards there. 
I think that just goes to show that Throw Inc. can be patient though. And I think that's an important factor in uh, some playstyles. And By the way, look at the bottom lane there. There is an ambush bottom waiting lane? to happen. ETC and the Greyman are looking for Uriel to overextend there. And it seems like they have abandoned it, okay. Oh, they're gonna go invade, maybe. Maybe they've worked out. Ooh, wow, it actually worked out, at least got the cancel, but there is a collapse onto them. It's three people, four people from the side of Lord of the Pink are gonna be contesting this. With the Leeming and the Fossil flying in and we... What a mayhem here, already so early in the game there. Fossil, it seems like... Nope. Oh, the grenade. Managing to, like, bloat, secure that. See John camp. Faustak could rotate top if he hasn't used his fly. Wow, they and... They might be able to get this up, and they're gonna have to clean up these giant camps. So yeah, I this mean... This could be first tribute poof. to Throw Ink. Yeah, Throw Ink already managed to actually uh, invade successfully. They're not losing anyone, despite the fact that they were outnumbered for, like, two or three seconds there before Faustak came in, mm -hmm. and even then, not losing anyone. So, fantastic job by them. ETC with the power side on the Ooh, take, take a second, a lot of damage, but he won't be uh, dying today here. But Malfurion, on the other hand, does get the god swap and will be, mm. be taken down. I mean, that's something they're gonna. Ooh. Grey main dropping very, very low there. Tychus is gonna be uh, doing a lot of damage on the ETC together with the Grey main kill there. And this seems like the first tribute. Oh, and the god swap on the ETC will secure the kill on him as well there. And another kill there in favor of Lord of the Pinks. By the way, during this process, they have lost Varian, but it doesn't matter when you're doing a 3 for 1 trade. So. I mean, you're gonna be happy with that. Like, very yeah, doing sure. his job if he's trading out that highly. Um, and that's what's so scary. Like, Mouth looked like he was in a good position. Swart comes out from Artanus. He's dead. Just disappears in like yeah. pretty much an instant. Like, Uriel's energy's been able to maintain pretty well from Tychus. So Tychus is doing a really good job of allowing the. Oriel to do her job healing, so... Yeah, I have to agree, and Probably. by the way, uh, despite all this uh, uh, mayhem here, the, the, the bloodshed that we've seen here from both teams, both of them are very, very cool on uh, XP. Granted, Lord of the Pings is ever so slightly ahead, but it's completely neglectable, and we can see Lord of the Pings, by the way, already doing their camp here, preparing for the next tribute, but another invade here from throwing. On Together the with the invasion, with the flight from the Falstad. Wow. Throwing completely on point with the rotation and invasion here so far. And no wonder they actually took this map. I mean, this is exactly what they need to do. Yeah. They need to, like... Fantastic game. Rotations. It is really... It's almost like a different game. Yeah. They're like really showing up and they're not being bullied by... No. Lord of the Pings on the contrary, they are bullying uh, Lord of the Pink at the yeah. moment. They are the ones who's uh, doing the aggressive plays. They are the one who's doing the the invades there. Um, fantastic game sense here, knowing you know what they're gonna go for the bottom camp and the, for the giant camp and then for the middle camp. You know, knowing their timing, knowing what the other team is going to do. So obviously they have practiced this map a lot, and it shows. And so far, very Ooh. strong opening. A little bit of a whiff on the power slide there, but patience again. They are really favoring these. Trying to get pickoffs. Bowser yep. putting a lot of pressure on Li Ming in that lane, but meanwhile, Varian is like taking down these towers, one of them down, but the ammo is drained on the other one. Oh, in the, in the oh, middle skirmish there, Malfurion does get a little damage. It seems like he will Grayman's be able to survive. Oh, and Faustad and the Greyman. Oh, and what started as a 3 versus 2 is now a 4 versus 3. Oh. The collapse on the Tychus exactly from the Tyrael. you want to destroy because once you shut down Tychus, it becomes a lot harder for Oriel to do as much healing. Yeah, definitely. She does have the Leeming as a as a target for Hope, but Leeming was at the bottom lane, so not comp not relevant Leeming at all. Has gone for a Q build, which I think is um, a build that favors like more sustained um, damage over the burst damage. So she it didn't be a really... lot harder for uh, Leeming to like bring sort of a safe damage. You'd have to go in or land a good orb um, to get, get that Oriel powered up. But Tychus is back alive. There's, you know, it's not like there's a uh, long death timers on here. It's not like it's uh, 11 minute death timers. So it's all good. Yep. 
And we do have level 10 here, by the way, on the side of Lord of the Pings. We do have a Suppression Pulse on the Artenis, Wave of Force on the Li Ming, Crystal Aegis on um, Uriel, Tychus with the Commandeer Odin, and Taunt on the Varian. Throwing will hit the level 10 momentarily here as uh, Tyrell is soaking the top lane quite safely there, and Falstad is at the bottom lane together with the Grey Main. Grey Main, happy out, clear up that. Camp not looking for the uh, pick off on Li Ming unless Li Ming does something very silly and gets out of position. Yep. But, I mean, no. Alright, and we do have level 10 here hit, by the way, for throwing. They have the stage dive for the ETC, Twilight Dream form of Furin. Yeah. The question is, are they going to give this tribute in favor of picking up a boss, or are they going to try and contest this? Throwing, I think definitely should they try to contest it. It's going to be a curse for yeah. them, and curse is a lot more valuable uh, valuable than a boss, especially at this stage of the game where all forts are up, the so boss is not going to do anything. Oh, oh power slide there on the very going to isolate him together with the Twilight Dream. Fantastic yeah, kill there. Wow. Turning up. What, in the face, helping what a great kill. Over. Just in time yeah, too. Was... There is a tribute, and this is going to be a curse for them. And there's just no way Lord of the Pink can actually contest it. Just really good job by them. Tanked, right? so... Commander I mean, Odin pretty, pop. Pretty, pretty, pretty gonna go for the delay suppression pulse as well. They're gonna try to. They're trying to buy as much time as they can for Varian. Varian just got up right now. Grayman taking a lot of damage, here, but wasn't actually killed. And the uh, curse, by the way, is now enabled in the favor of. Throwing and the collapse on our tennis here. The oh aggressive gosh. gas, fantastic to there. Oriel has had to use her crystal Aegis, but it's not gonna be enough. Those roots. Nope. Oriel will also be taken down there. Oh, Grayman was taken reset. down, by the way. Leaming with the reset. Tyrell is dropping very, very low and will be down. taken down. Wow. What the a slaughter fest. So wow. The more they're like fighting, the less they're defending against this curse. And Falstad is retaining bot. Which is the most important lane to push out because their boss is there. Yeah. Um, so they want to bring down this. So wow. despite all those deaths, they still got like a little lead there, which is good. And if they can get 13 first, I think it's going to be like fairly even on XP after this because those leads, have, uh, those kills did help Lord of Pink stay pretty even, but. Oh, they're doing boss. This time, boss. Are we gonna see an invade? No, they're just gonna trade nope. out bosses now. Yeah. He means gonna pick up the sea giants, which will help de defending this boss on the top lane. But uh, I'm a bit worried that they're not gonna finish their boss w in time. Ah, they will. There's no, no way they, they can be contested. Yeah. yeah. Grey main's in position to help out anyway, so they're all good. And I mean, look at look at the Lord of the Pink, by the way, taking their time with yeah. the boss as well, trying to time it as close as they can, or um, you know, at least no, getting it as close as they can as the bottom boss has spawned as well. And there Ooh, we go. They can invade the giants again. Love it. Yeah, really they are playing they're very aggressive. Bot, so yeah, they're gonna get a lot more value out pushing with their boss than yeah. um, Lord of the Pink's will. We see a sure. really good map rotations coming out with Fro Ink. Yeah, I have to agree what you said earlier. It's a completely different team now from what we've seen in game number one. They are the aggressive, they take the initiative, and so far they are in the lead here, I have to say. Uh, even in kill counts. Okay, Odin is being pawned. This is a very dangerous push here on the side of uh, throwing. They have a boss and siege camp here. Uh, double giants in their favor. Got that safety net. ETC helping the roots. Oh! Oh, and the certification there, fantastic, and they're getting so much damage, and Varian was taking down there. And this is going to be the first keep in the game, going to go in favor of throwing, and wow. What a completely different team so far. Beautiful, that is a 11 minute beep, that is beautiful. Falstaff's yeah. going to go back to mid to defend this, who's, they've got some towers from these giants, maybe the well, but... And we've got siege giants harassing top as well. All the while down, that's really impressive. Uh, so, how does Lord of Pings come back to this? They just need to really get those pick offs and they need to really. I, um, I think the, the only way they play this curious. right now, the only way they need to play this is play passively, soak to 16. You have time to do that because <laughs> they just exactly. got the curse. They, you just you got the curse. This. They don't need it. Yeah. They don't need yeah. to take it. But instead, they want to fight, which is fine. Because throwing doesn't have 16 yet, so if they can get a, a decisive quick fight right now before 16, then it's fine. No, I, I don't like fine. this because they haven't got Sanct up. 
And we do have an engagement here on the side yeah. of... Th and immediately this is getting disappeared there. Varian taking a little bit of damage, but not uh, not being risked at dying anytime soon here. And Grayman looks like will be taken down as well there. Gus completely with not doing too, too much here. And as you mentioned, it was probably a better idea to get a fight done here on the side of throwing. I did like the fact that uh, Lord of the Pink went for a fight. Because... Yeah, Lord of the Pink is like, yeah. it's perfect for them. They want yeah. to fight. That's yeah. the way they get back into this game. I mean, especially with Sank down and another heroic. I think it was... Was it Stage Life still down? Or Twilight Dream? But, I mean, and the Gus was out too too late for that disengage. As soon as ETC got torn, I'd have liked to see the Gus come down. Yeah, for but, sure. Uh, but, I mean, as it stands, Lord of the Pink, they did what what they did, and they got kind of, mm -hmm. you know, showed us some signs of life in this game, got a little bit of XP back uh, from their de uh, deficit, and, I mean, now the gap is not so far. They're about to hit level 16 themselves, and... Yeah. Throwing have that, like, structure buffer, so it wasn't disastrous having no. losing that fight. And the um, trip spawned in favor on their side, but they've given them Lord of the Pings a window back into this... Yeah, because now all of a sudden, Lord of the Pings, they are contesting a tribute that's going to be their curse. But they yeah. still don't have 16, by the way, which is kind of no, a problem for them. Yeah, and they are not going to be contesting oh, it. Holy Brown, oh, the Aegis on the Uriel to get it with the Suppression Pulse. Now, I th energy. Go, go, go. They don't I have think, healing, guys. Yeah, but I think that's it. Um, I think they kind of whiffed it up. Courses. They used their collapsing. Uh, Tychus, Tychus, Tychus is slowed down. Ooh. And do invite the holy ground will not be isolating anyone here instead. The power slide will also not catch anyone. And the gas there on the wall gonna be isolating the variant. It seems like no, but the charge on the false start and the taunt on him and the kill. But they also got the kill on the Li Ming, which means that snowball potential is not gonna happen. Oh, fantastic kill there on the variant too. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to push your luck. Nope. I think that's the right call, Frank. A two for one kill. Arian's like talent blocking that healing meant that they were that was powerless to protect that foul start. Oh, they want to look for a fight. It. I don't oh, think this yeah, is what they, they want to do. They have a numbers advantage. That. Oh my god, they're gonna go for they the have, invade the old power slide whiff. All right. But they do have they do have um objective control or like capture control with the holy yeah. ground and the etc knockback. So and all of a sudden. They we are two, really two for two counts. as far as tribute counts go, which means that the next tribute is going to be a curse for either of the team. And we are so far late into the game, or late enough in the game, where that curse can be a game-ending curse, I might say. Yeah, all the caps belong to Throw Inc. now. I mean, this we've seen them consistently doing the game. By the way, boss at the Ooh, bottom boss. lane just spawned, I yes, and they immediately there, rotate. Boss. Yeah, we go. Yeah, come on, faster, guys. But I would love to see Look Lord of the Pings being on top of the. I would love to see Lord of the Pings being on top of the timers and they, trying to contest, but this is not going to happen. I don't think they. I think like any time that uh, Throw Ink pulls. Um, oh, okay, they are rotating to the bottom there. Away to their sort of territory, bot lane gets more value. Bot lane gets pushed off, and the more longer the fight fast goes on, fast start, being needs. a little bit aggressive, not going to get punished. Fastad's got to watch his positioning. He got caught out yeah. before, and that could have been disastrous. But luckily, they'd already got some pickoffs, and it also really well split Lord of the Pings. Wow! Are they gonna wow. put them in catch twenty two here? They could have sent Fastad to mm -hmm. the top, trying to contest the tribute. They still can. And kind of threat the boss. Bottom. Bottoms pr pressure. That's exactly what I mean. Because of that early key pickup. I wonder what Fastad like, is doing at the bottom throw, here. Throw ink can really dictate where. Where they want to go and nope. ETC is kind of alone ready. here at the top, and he will be taking down oh. their throwing with the throw. I have no what? idea what they were doing. What what was that? That what was that rotation? That was. I have no idea. He just went alone to the top there, when they saw that the whole uh, team of Lord of the Ping rotated away from the boss. Plus, you have Fastad in the bush here, uh, waiting for nothing basically. And there we go, I Curse mean... here. Wow, what a that big, was a bad shot calling. Like, big, I big mean, mistake. Was... Big mistake. And this this could be game. Yeah. Big, buffs. big mistake. Which is, sh which is a shame because throwing was in the driving seat the whole game. Yeah. Much. Oh, and the god swap on the Grayman and Taunt and Charge, and he is taken down. 
uh, too late and that means a Sanct is off cooldown as well and it doesn't look like a lot of the pings are looking to end the game but instead they're gonna Aggressive be rotating to the boss alright yeah, I like it okay and all of a sudden the whole lead the throwing had is now thrown out of the window here the and load like of the ping are back in the driver's seat man yeah is it denies them uh throwing a win condition way back in the game yep oh the charge into Ooh. the eerie oh Ooh. and the swap oh, one there fast start. and he will be taken down as well there oh my god they're staggering their death Can't timer that leaming follow-up damage I thought, I thought that swap was going to save us there, but Leeming was like, not today! <laughs> uh, that was beautiful. Um, it looks like Froink has just come apart. Like, yeah. I don't know if they've lost comms with their shot caller or something like that, but it's seeming like... I hope know. not, because they had such a fantastic opening. Um, they played fantastically well up until the uh, last two minutes, but up until two minutes ago, but I mean... I mean, it's not over yet. No, of course they not, but they will hit level 20. Safely. They will hit level 20 on the side of Lord of the Pings. That's Storm Talents. It's probably the second biggest power spike. Else. Yeah. No red big is button Odin? on Tychus. What? Tychus is saving Odin for that potential core. Uh, and there we go. Ending. There we go. The taunt Silence on the Grey Man, but not enough damage to kill him off, actually. Uh, Odin, popped. Odin popped. Keep number two will be taken down Feel here. Or should be? It should be. No. Okay. No? Interesting. Oh, Ooh, nice! Nice Mal ice block by Malfurion, but instead Tyrion, Tyrion will be taken down there. Suppression Pulse will deny a lot of damage here by the Artenis, and now all of a sudden they are on the back foot. Gus will use defensively here. I think that was a, a good disengage for them. Um, yeah. They're fighting 19 into 20. I think they pushed their luck. Oh, and the Varian with the taunt, but Varian's so low, but ETC will be taken down, and the Greyman, and the Leeming with the reset, and this is going to be that game number reset. two. Wow. Looking like game. Yeah, they have they still have 25 seconds until Tyrael is up, and now Malfurion is dead as well. Falstad is the only one alive, doesn't even have Gust, and game number two here will go in favor of Lord of the Pings. Falstad will be taken down here as well. What a turnaround. I mean, Such a shame, I feel like. Throwing played fantastically well until like the the 16 minutes mark, the 15 minutes mark, and this one call with the ATC completely changed the entire game. It looked like they